Hello students. In last video, we studied about the organs of the circulatory systems, which are that heart, blood vessels, and blood. So now, in this video, we learn about, uh, studied about the circulation of the blood in our bodies. Okay, means the process of circulation of blood. process of blood circulation okay now in this video we studied about the blood circulation in the body so in circulatory systems the three main parts is there heart blood vessels and blood okay so, how this process is going on in our body? Now, we studied one by one. So, first steps, you know, heart. Heart is the pumping organ. Okay? Heart is the pumping organ. It pumps the blood from body to heart and from heart to our parts of the body. Okay? So, first step. First step. In the circulatory system, the pulmonary veins, okay, pulmonary veins carry the oxygenated blood from the lungs to the left ventricles. You know, heart has the two chambers, ventricles and auricles, okay, left right ventricles and left right auricles. So, in first step, pulmonary vein carry the oxygenated blood to the from lungs to the left ventricle of heart okay means what is the first step pulmonary vein that pulmonary vein carry oxygenated blood to the left ventricle of birth left ventricle of heart okay carry the oxygenated blood this is the first step of blood circulation second step see what the heart pump the oxygen rich blood to the aorta heart heart continuously pumping the blood okay so heart uh, carry the oxygenated blood to the aorta here heart carry oxygenated blood oxygenated blood to the aorta aorta is the one type of primary artery that supply the blood to all parts of our bodies okay is the second step what heart carry the oxygenated blood to the aorta Okay. Then third step, from the aorta, the blood move to the different artery. Okay. From the aorta, the blood supply to the different part of the body. Okay. The blood move from aorta to different arteries. Oxygenated, oxygenated blood to the different arteries and from different arteries it supply to all parts of our body okay so this um, this is the third step now fourth step for very veins you know like the arteries in our body is the vein size so there so when carry carbon dioxide rich blood from different body part to vein accounts see Veins, four states. Okay. Veins is the one type of blood vessel that carry de carbon dioxide rich blood means what? Deoxygenated blood. What? Deoxygenated blood. 
then carry the deoxygenated blood to the vena cava. That vena cava is the one type of the veins. Okay? This vena cava is one type of veins that brings the deoxygenated blood. Okay? This is the first step. And fifth step is the heart. Now what happened? That deoxygenated bloods again bring to the heart for purification. So the heart pumps the carbon dioxide rich blood to the pulmonary arteries. Here again heart carry deoxygenated blood. Okay, carry the deoxygenated blood to the pulmonary arteries. And that carry it to the lungs for the purification. Okay? See, means here is the, this is the steps of the process of blood circulation. I explain one by one again. See, first steps. First steps was that pulmonary veins. You know, there are different types of blood vessels, veins, the arteries, capillaries are the blood vessels. So, pulmonary veins that carry the oxygenated blood. Which? Oxygenated blood. That carry oxygenated blood to the left ventricle. Left ventricle what is the chamber of the heart. Okay. So pulmonary vein carry oxygenated blood to the left ventricles. Then after that what happens in second steps. See heart. That heart brings the oxygenated blood from pulmonary veins. Okay. So this heart carry the this oxygenated blood to the aorta. Aorta is, aorta is the one type of the arteries that supply the blood to the all parts of our bodies. Okay? See. Means, then third step from arota, that arota carry this blood, oxygen rich blood or oxygenated blood to the different arteries in our bodies. Okay? See? This is the third step. Then, fourth step what? Then what happened? That blood are circulate in our body, all parts of body. Again that uh, uh, some impurities is mixed up in that blood. Means again that deoxygenated blood is formed in our bodies. And these veins, the, that function of the vein, that veins deoxygenate the blood, carry the deoxygenated blood to the vena cava. Vena cava is the one type of the veins. Okay? Vena cava is the one type of the Veins that carries the deoxygenated blood. Okay? And this vena cava carries this blood to the heart of our body. And finally for that heart, again this deoxygenated blood that carry through the pulmonary arteries. Okay? That heart is a pump out the deoxygenated blood to the pulmonary arteries that carry it to the lungs. Okay, that pulmonary artery is connected with our lungs. So, this heart carry deoxygenated blood to the pulmonary arteries and finally to the lungs. Means this circulation, this process is continuously going on in our body. Heart to lungs, again lungs to heart. Okay, so for that process, that veins and arteries are important. Mm -hmm. So this is the process of blood circulation in our body. See on page number 16. On page number 16, that all processes are given in details. Okay, so uh, you have to revise this topic again. Read this point carefully. What uh, you write uh, written is there. Okay, so now after that. We studied the uh, next point, heartbeat. What? Heartbeat. Heartbeat or and pulses. See. <coughs> heartbeat. 
heartbeat and pulse heartbeat what you know our heart muscles is uh, continuously contract and relax okay is continuously contract and relax so due to this contraction and relaxation the one type of sound is created and that's called the heartbeat that thrombing sound is generated due to the that relaxing and contraction of the heart okay relax and contract of heart is continuously going on and that's why in that heart beats is created in our body so in the adult human beings the normal heart beat is about the 70 to 75 beats how many that 70 to 75 in adult okay if adult human being that heart beat is about 70 to 75 and in children is the this heart beat is more something and like 90 to 100 okay 90 to 100 beats so this is the rate of the heart uh, heart beat in adult and children in adult 70 to 75 and in children 90 to 100 beats so <coughs> for when our heart beat is increases when you are uh, doing some physical work like the swimming cycling then our heart beat is increases and it may be faster so with each heart beat blood flows in the arteries okay that heart beat is created when in the blood flows to the arteries under the high pressure okay so this causes the thrombing movement in the arteries and called the pulse that part pulse when blood flow pass through the arteries that thrombing movement is created there and that called the pulse this pulse is counted with the help of stethoscope when doctors use the stethoscope machines then you can feel the pulse in our bodies okay so pulse is the rhythmic beating the arteries caused by the heart beat and pulse rate is exactly equal to the heart beat pulse rate and heart beat rate is a uh, exactly equals so pulse can be felt at the wrist here or here at the neck that pulse is we can uh, feel and so you you can feel that pulse with the help of stethoscope okay so this is the heart beat and pulse is the very simple point uh, here we have to only uh, remind that remember that uh, how how that heart beats and pulse is created due to the relaxation and contraction of heart that heart beat is created okay so for healthy and strong heart you know heart is the main part of our body should uh, maintain their function properly so how how you make your heart is healthy and strong so for that you follow some points regularly healthy and strong heart what can you do what can i do for their healthy and strong heart uh, hearts first practice deep breathing means like the prana okay practice the deep breathing exercise doing doing the pranayams so second point doing some physical exercise such as swimming walking okay running jumping so for that what your heart beat heart is should be strong and healthy maintain the healthy eating habits don't eating the junk food eat the healthy food okay third one taking proper rest and sleep so for performing simple asanas 
asanas okay there are the different asanas and uh, yoga asan that called yoga asanas and their benefit also is uh, more for our bodies so yoga has a uh, many types and forms so it keep the body relax and energize okay so also yoga helps in curing the many physical and mental health physically and mentally also that uh, uh, yogas are helpful for our us so there are the different exercises given on page number 18 see first tadasana uh, second one is rishasana third one trikonasana fourth dhanurasan then chaturanga dandasan then virbhadrasan there are the different type of exercises are given on that page so you do uh, at home also okay see the picture carefully and do like that yoga asanas for healthy and strong heart for making the heart healthy and strong so see here our all lessons this all this lessons are finished if you have any confusions then you can ask me okay or send the comments so and simultaneously we write the questioning answers also after that i will send the uh, images of the question answers so, so you should write in notebook properly okay so here our lesson is finished